Hey everybody, welcome to Slash Bash, where today I am bringing you another Choosing Beggar Reddit video. If you are new to the channel, then subscribe and click on notifications so you don't miss out on the fun. In our first story, a Choosing Beggar roommate blows up when ROP eats her own food. Apparently she wanted it and you can't just go and eat your own food. Let's jump right in. Hello, my dear fellow Redditors. After an overwhelming verdict of me being not the butthole for snapping at my roommate, I've decided to share this with you. I thought you might get some enjoyment from it and my roommate can pound sand, since she already knows I posted it there and about this throwaway account. I've been living with my roommate for a couple of months and it has been going swimmingly. I am okay sharing my food with my roommate, but I don't touch the food she buys because I have binge eating disorder and I honestly prefer to never touch her food. It's just my personal preference to not open that door to allow myself to eat it during a heavy binge. I draw a hard line there. Recently I bought some avocados and tortilla chips. Then during a binge I ended up eating all my avocados and chips. My roommate wanted to take an avocado to work. She is an essential worker. She hates the food they serve in her restaurant. She didn't ask me or anything, but since we have the unspoken agreement she can help herself to my food, she planned to take the avocado and some of the chips too. Today in the morning she was packing her lunch for work and she realized there were no avocados or chips left. So she woke me up mad that I had eaten them all. Now she doesn't have anything to take to work and that I am a massive flipping cow for eating everything. I am so selfish, etc. I am super sensitive about my weight. Even if I am at a healthy weight, I still bust my butt out with exercise to counteract the horrible binges I have. I am going to therapy to improve my relationship with food, though I still get bad impulsive binges. I wanted to cry right then and there due to her nasty comment, but I also didn't want to take any of her BS, so I started screaming at her saying that I am never letting her touch my food again if she's going to act so entitled to the stuff I pay for. That never in the five months I've been living with her have I eaten food she had bought without her offering me at first. That she can eat stuff for all I care. She got teary and said that she can't afford the foods that I buy, how much she hates the unhealthy food at her work offers, so she wanted to take a nice burrito bowl to work, but now she has to have a cheesy bean salad. By the way, even the cheesy bean salad she made was made using my food. The only thing she bought was the cheese. She then said that I was a spoiled butthole who doesn't need to go out and expose myself to the virus in order to still get paid loads of money. I am a junior accountant in a big company so I do get better pay than she does. Then she left. Later I got a text from a mutual friend saying that my roommate is struggling with money and that I shouldn't eat all the food especially when there are so much and that I should think about my health. My roommate expects an apology from me for eating everything, forcing her to eat the food at work, which she gets for free, and for yelling at her. I wanted to be vindictive and eat a bowl of her cereal and throw the rest in the trash, but I am not about that life. After receiving plenty of comments from a lot of people in the original post in Am I the Butthole that my roommate may have told our mutual friend a completely different story from the truth, I decided to ask her what was said, to be able to defend myself and to be sure my side and the truth was heard. She told me that my roommate told her that the food was bought by the both of us, that I promised her the avocado and chips for her lunch today, that she just came to calmly ask me if I had seen them and that I confessed to her that I had eaten them all to spite her, that I yelled at her and told her to eat stuff. I did tell her that, and that I mocked her for being poor. After telling her my side of events, she realized my roommate's account of events had a lot of holes and that mine made more sense. I explained to her she called me names, woke me up to yell at me, and the only food she owned in the burrito bowl she was taking to work was the cheese. 
My friend apologized profusely to me and then texted my roommate telling her that she was disgusted with her actions. Even though I was originally planning on letting her apologize and allowing her to continue to let her have my stuff again, Reddit knocked some sense into my doormat self and told me to revoke her access to my food. I was planning on having a conversation with her when she got back from work about clear boundaries that will be set in place. From now on, her food will go into the mini fridge that came with the apartment, while the fridge I'm borrowing from my Abulita is going to be locked in the pantry with my food. She decided to go spend the night at her boyfriend's place since I'm hostile against her and I have turned our mutual friend against her. Her boyfriend has also texted me. He knows that the food is 100% mine, so he is on my side. I decided to talk to the guys in the legal department at work to know what I can do to protect myself in the worst case scenario if I have to evict her. After my roommate read my Reddit post and updates, she sent me over 30 texts asking for forgiveness saying she doesn't want to be evicted, which like I said is my worst case scenario and that we should talk. It's a day later and she's still yet to return. Now she has reverted to her original stance. She texted me angrily to say I'm ruining her relationship, have read it against her, poisoned her friendship with mutual friends, and that she feels like I'm trying to forcibly lead her to starvation and homelessness. The reality is that yesterday I spent part of my evening creating a nice budgeting plan for her so that she would stop bleeding money. If she can get her finances in order, she can actually buy decent groceries for herself and even start thinking about saving money in the near future. This is the first time something like this has ever happened, and after crying my eyes out multiple times yesterday, and part of today, I'm at a complete loss. I thought my roommate and I were good friends. First update. My roommate's boyfriend texted me to say that he tried talking to her, but she demanded he be on her side. When he said he wasn't, she stormed off to her parents' house. Her mom is crazy, so pray for me. Second update. So her mother just called to yell at me. She said she will sue me for slandering her daughter online. Any drop of civility I had felt towards my roommate is now out the window. I'm getting her much calmer sister to come pick up her stuff for her because I no longer feel comfortable having her enter my home. I will be returning her rent for this month. I have talked with the legal team and they say I am allowed to do this after the most recent events. What I was told by the guides of the legal department is that I cannot be sued for illegal eviction. I also talked with the police department in my area. I will give you a proper update once this is done. I have no idea what the flip is going on. She is still at her parents, so she is getting her wish of having free food, and hell, even getting free accommodation. I'm shocked it has come to this. Hopefully this is the final update. After considering things, I think I am acting vindictively and without thinking it through properly. I am going to talk to her like an adult and I hope to reach a resolution with her. I've been seeing Red since yesterday and I haven't been acting like I should have as I've been out for blood instead of acting like an adult. I will call her tomorrow morning. This situation has honestly caused a lot of hurt and I am ready for it to be over without completely turning myself into a monster. Her mother yelling at me was bad, but not worst case scenario bad. So I should be the bigger person and not go forward with the eviction. I will find a way to end this roommate situation in a way that will benefit both of us and not put my roommate into a worse situation. I'm just letting you all know that I am going to step away from Reddit for a bit. In the future, I will update you in a post on this sub once something actually happens. Thank you all so much for the support. This is John from Slash Bash. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video and want to see more of them, then please hit that subscribe button. We'd love for you to drop a like, share it with your friends, and we will see you in the next one.